हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक लेट इज सॉल एक्सरसाइज 1.2 वेरी सिंपल एक्सरसाइज द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन द फॉलोइंग फिगर्स इफ द लाइन एल इज पैरेलल टू वन ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ द गिवन ट्रायंगल्स नाउ दिस दिस प्रॉब्लम कम्स फॉर टू मार्क्स इन अक्टूबर 12th एग्जाम वन मार्क इन मार्च 13th एग्जाम दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी सिंपल आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम हियर इन ऑल दिस थ्री फिगर्स one triangle is given the shape of triangle can be different and one line parallel is given that means uh, this line is parallel to this line one line parallel is given and you have to use the bpt here so maybe this is x this some value is given these values are given and you have to find the x all three figures given of a triangle of some kind triangles of different shape different rotations and one line is parallel to one of the side of the triangle and you have to use the basic proportionality theorem and find out the value of x so please pause your video and solve this example now in example number 2 of 1.2 one triangle is given triangle pqr and two points e and f are given the problem is e and f are the points on the sides of pq and pr respectively of triangle pqr for each of the following cases state where the ef is parallel to qr or not that means you have to check in each of the following cases that whether ef is parallel to qr or not here you have to use the converse of bpt that means for every uh, problem for example here pe pe qe pf and fr are given numbers are given in centimeters and you have to decide whether ef is parallel to qr or not so we have to use the converse of bpt that means if pe upon eq is equal to pf upon fr then by the converse of bpt ef is parallel to qr example is very simple you have to just do the calculation work properly and if this ratio ep upon eq is equal to pf upon fr if this ratio is equal in that case you have to state ef is parallel to qr and if that ratio is not equal then just state that ef is not parallel to qr by the converse of bpt so please pause your video here and solve this example do all the calculations very properly just division multiplication is there please do it now example number 3 4 and 5 are directly based on the application of the bpt that is the angle bisector of a triangle the property of angle bisector of a triangle now in that case the triangles are given like this and let us see the third example in the figure the point q on the side of the mp of mnp this is the point q this is the point q this is n this is m and this is p and this is q now in this third example they are given that mq is 2 and mp is given 5.5 now here it is not directly given so it is 5.5 here and then the ray nq is a bisector of mnp they have stated that this is the angle bisector find mn upon np find mn upon np by the angle bisector property of a triangle we can say that mq upon qp now you can easily find out the qp 5.5 minus 2 that is 3.5 here so what is mn upon np 2 upon 3.5 is equal to mn upon np simple in the fourth example the same kind of uh, figure is given that was that is for two marks and they are asked what is the ratio is equal to same you have to use the property of angle bisector of a triangle 
and solve that example. Fifth one, same thing, these two sides are given, MQ and QP are given, MN, MN is given and NP is X and from that you have to find the value of X, very simple, this upon this, upon this side, upon this side, only X is unknown and you can easily find out the answer. So please pause your video here and find out the answers or solve the problems 3, 4 and 5. Please do it now, pause your video. In the example 5 as I told you that these two sides are given, this side is given, this is unknown, we have to find the unknown and along with that they are given find a value of perimeter of PQR. Here in the example 5 this is PQR, find the perimeter that means you have to write down the addition of all three sides so that you will get the perimeter. In this case the examples are extremely simple just multiplication division is to be done or in this case subtraction is done. You have to take care while writing answer. The answer should be in the same fashion they have asked. If they are given centimeters you write centimeters. If they are given uh, if the no unit is given you can write only name unit or no unit okay and if they are asked for the ratio see the ratio does not have any unit remember that okay why ratio don't have any unit why suppose I take MN upon NP okay if I take MN upon NP and I want to find a unit of this okay as I said no unit why because both are in centimeters centimeters centimeter that will get cancelled it is one so there is no unit at all so the ratio don't have any units remember that but if they ask for the some side then you have to write the proper unit okay let us go ahead to example number six example number six this figure is given and here they are stated that this line ML is parallel to BC and NL is parallel to DC then prove that AM upon AB AN upon AB is equal to AN upon AD AM upon AB is equal to AN upon AD this is very simple they are given first of all we will take the the triangle above okay this triangle we, are, we will take this ML is parallel to BC so by BPD we can say that AM upon MB is equal to AL upon LC. So this is the first equation we get. What is the second equation? If we consider this triangle, this ML is parallel to DC and hence we have AN upon ND by BPT is equal to L upon LC. This is the second equation we get. Now L upon LC is common, so we can say that M upon MB is equal to AN upon ND. But what we want? M upon AB we want, this full AB we want. Okay, we don't want AM upon MB but you can add for that we have to use the component okay but if you do component then you will get AM plus MB is equal to AB correct but that we want AB here so first we have to invert it so by invert endo we will use the invert endo first that is the MB upon AM here we have used the property invert endo ok same to here is equal to nd upon an I am solving on the right side now we will use the component endo that is mb plus am upon am this is here we have used the component endo ok but mb plus am is equal to AB. So we have AB upon AM. 
but what we want am upon ab so again we have to do invert endo so we'll invert it again and then at last we'll get am upon ab i have solved only left hand side and now you have to solve the right hand side here you can write that by invert endo invert endo again okay so i have solved this to the left hand side you solve right hand side write it properly please pause your video and complete it example number 7 in pqr segment pm is the median they said that segment pm is the median that means this side equal to this side okay the bisector of pmq the bisector of angle pmq and bisector of angle pmr intersects these two sides in x and y prove that xy is parallel to qr we have to prove that xy is parallel to qr this is very simple here you have to use both the properties the first you have to use the angle bisector property of triangle and then you have to use the converse of basic proportionality theorem how mx is the angle bisector of this triangle we will take only left side triangle okay so since this is angle bisector we'll say that px upon xq is equal to pm upon qm now this triangle in this triangle this is angle bisector so by angle bisector property we can say that py upon yr is equal to pm upon mr okay this side is common so in both the expressions pm is common but qm is equal to mr so pm upon qm or pm upon mr are one and the same and hence you have px upon xq is equal to py upon yr and hence by the converse of bpt we can say that xy is parallel to qr this is very simple example but you have to write it properly so please pause your video and solve this example first take pmq in triangle pmq mx is angle bisector so here there is not a big thing to write the example properly just write down whatever you are doing that's all so first of all we are taking triangle pmq so you write down in triangle pmq mx is angle bisector hence by angle bisector property of triangle so and so now second that is the statement one second next you write in this triangle write down the name of triangle my is an angle bisector so by angle bisector property this upon this whatever the ratio is that you write down after that you can write that since qm is equal to mr as pm is a median from one end to this ratio is equal to this ratio and hence by the converse of bpt we can say that xy is parallel to qr very simple so please pause your video and write down now problem number 8 the figure is given the abcd abcd is a trapezium in which ab is parallel to dc this ab is parallel to dc and its diagonals intersect each other at point o at point o the diagonals intersects show that ao upon bo is equal to co upon do ao upon bo is equal to co upon do we have to show that ao upon bo is equal to co upon do okay for that we will just do one simple construction we will draw a line parallel will draw a line parallel to ab since this line is parallel to ab that means this is parallel to dc also okay so this is the construction that you have to write and now you can take the two triangles one by one first of all we will take triangle abd in this triangle we will take this triangle first so in this triangle what we have an upon nd 
बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनलिटी थ्योरम एन अपॉन एन डी इज इक्वल टू डीओ अपॉन डीओ एंड नाउ वील टेक दिस ट्राइंगल एडीसी वील टेक दिस ट्राइंगल नाउ इन दिस ट्राइंगल अगेन दिस इज अ पैरल लाइन सो बाय बीपीटी वी हैव एन अपॉन एन डी This is the first equation we got. N upon N D is equal to A O upon O C. This is the second we got. N upon N D is common. So we have B O upon D O is equal to A O upon O C. And as the final answer, just cross multiply. Take OC this side and BO to the right side. So OC upon DO is equal to AO upon BO. And at last, as a final answer, just take AO upon BO. What we want on the left hand side, take it on the left hand side, is equal to OC or CO upon DO. Proved. So this is how we have to use the basic proportionality theorem. Okay, we have used two different triangles. Use the BPT, and by one and two, we got this answer. So let's move to problem number nine. Problem number nine is very simple. They are just given one trapezium, and here we are to use the intercepts of three parallel lines. Very very simple problems. There are uh, four intercepts are there. One on this side, a uh, two on this side, and two on this side. These two. Three intercepts are given. The fourth intercept you have to find out. So you have to just write by the property of the intercepts of the three parallel lines. We have so and so ratio, and then you can find out the unknown. Very simple. I am not going to even write this uh, problem here. So please pause your video here and quickly solve the problem number nine. The answer is 17.5. BQ is equal to 17.5 is the answer. Very simple problem. Quickly solve this problem. Pause your video. Let us see problem number ten. Using the converse of BPT, that is basic proportionality theorem, prove that the line segment joining the midpoint of any two sides of the triangle is parallel to the third. So first part is very simple. Problem number ten. So the first part is. Prove that the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides, these are the midpoints. That means this side equal to this side and this side equal to this side. So these are the midpoints of these two sides. This line we have to first we have to prove that this line is parallel to this line. This is very simple because the basic converse of basic proportionality theorem. What it says? The converse says that if this upon this is equal to this upon this. Then these two lines must be parallel to each other. So the first part we can prove very easily. The second part they say that the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of the triangle is parallel to third side and half of it. That means we have to prove that this side, this line is half of the base. So let us see how to solve the second part of it. How to prove that this is the half of this? So first, let us give the name. We'll give the name A, B, C, D, and E. The first part is very easy to prove. Okay, since this is the midpoint, AD upon BD is one, and A upon EC is also one. So by the converse of basic proportionality theorem, DE is parallel to BC. In this case, for proving the second part, that means for proving that this is half of DE is half of BC, we will draw, we will extend this line, and we will draw line parallel to BD. Suppose this is point O. Okay, so now D is parallel to BC and. BD is parallel to OC because we have constructed it. So in construction, you have to write that construct 
OC parallel to BD and extend line DE. So now DBCO is a parallelogram. Correct? And opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. So this is also OC is equal to BD. But BD is DA. So this is equal to this. Correct? Now this is opposite angles. And here we know that this side equal to this side. So in these two triangles, this side DA equal to OC, AE equal to EC and angle E is alternate angle so congruent. So by the ACS test of the congruency, these two triangles are congruent and hence DE is equal to OE. Why? Simple. Because this is corresponding sides of the congruent triangles are equal. Now we know that BC is equal to DO. Why? Because the opposite sides of the parallelogram. So BC is equal to DO. But D is half of DO because D equal to OE. So instead of this we can write that DE plus OE and next step DE plus DE twice DE. So here I can write twice DE BC is equal to twice DE and hence just transfer this to so DE is equal to half BC. So this is how we have proved the second part of it. So what ultimately properties we have got the first if this is the midpoint if these two lines are parallel and these two points are the midpoints of other two sides so the by the converse of basic proportionality theorem first of all these two lines are parallel and then another thing we have got that this line is not only parallel to this but the, this is half of the second line or this line is half of the base. Correct? So remember that if at all in the problem it comes that this is the midpoint then automatically you don't have to prove all these things. By the proportionality theorem you can directly write that DE is equal to half of BC. So with this we have finished the exercise 1.2. Now let us go ahead. Thank you very much.